I was excited about coming to UCLA. I thought it was a great opportunity. I had, since I was a chairman of medicine, I had this desire to try to lead an academic medical center because these organisms are so complex. There's so much opportunity to do good. And these, those were very, very difficult times for academic medicine. The economy was not good, they were struggling, and all of us in academia knew we were on the threshold of a biomedical revolution. And uh, so I came here, I was uh, wet behind the ears, shall we say, full of energy and wanting to do all the things that were necessary to turn this ship and to get it to achieve its full potential. Little did I know, <clears throat> however, the extent of my job because I had, did not appreciate the damage that the earthquake had uh, caused this medical complex. Uh, because after the first reports, certainly the ones that I had when I came, was that uh, there had been damage, but it was not extensive. So here we are, 13 plus years later, and what do we have? We have a Reagan, Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center almost completed, almost completed, which will be completed um, early next calendar year. For the record, that is 2008, <laughs> and now you've caught me on film saying that. And uh, the Santa Monica UCLA Medical Center, which will be about three years uh, after the opening of the Reagan, maybe, maybe two and a half. And five new research buildings, in addition to all of the programs that have been developed, all the improvements that we've had, the dramatic rise in NIH grant funding, uh, that we've experienced from $92.5 million to now with $302 million in change um, is amazing. I, I, if I probably knew what I knew now, probably would have not come. <laughs> it would have been a daunting challenge to think of it. But I've been blessed. The faculty is amazing. Uh, the leadership both on, in the medic, on the medical side and on the campus side, and the regents and the Office of the President have been very willing to go shoulder to shoulder with us and to make, make a lot of this possible. We've been blessed by amazingly generous supportive of, supporters of our um, operations here at the, at the medical center and the medical school. David Geffen, Jerry Parencio, the Lindsay Foundation, the Amundsen Foundation, Linda and Stuart Resnick, the Mattel Corporation, the Gonda family, especially Leslie and Susan Gonda, and on and on. There have been so many people who have been so wonderful to us. And all this has been possible with you know, no financial drain either on the university and no, nothing that's been harmful to our students because of a forcing us to uh, in some way raise fees to pay for this. None of that has occurred. It's, it's been a wonderful, it's been a wonderful experience. I, uh, as I said, I've been truly blessed to have had the opportunity to do this and uh, to serve. And I hope I can continue to serve UCLA for many years to come. But uh, I think, you know, realistically, uh, I think uh, all of this certainly has been the crowning achievement of my time uh, that I've been at UCLA, and uh, I hope I'll leave really great building blocks for whoever succeeds me and all those who succeed me down the years, as they say. So it's been, it's been a wonderful experience, but in no way could I have ever been could anyone have prepared me for what I was what I was going to face? Just my job now is, I think, 180 degrees different than the one I had anticipated, but even better. <laughs>